One of the strongest uh, reasons that I came to Chicago, Chicago Kent was the strength of its intellectual property program, which is recognized you know, across the country. Um, I don't have a lot of experience of the intellectual co property courses yet as a 1L, um, but I'll be doing some of the more focused courses in my 2L and 3L years. Um, but I'm already involved in the Intellectual Property Law Society, which they have here, and the Journal of Intellectual Property. So there's plenty of opportunities to get involved in intellectual property law. After my first semester, my favorite professor, hands down, is Professor Heyman. I took criminal law with him, and I'm telling you, after the end of the semester, I had a, such a pleasant experience. It was almost as if I wanted to give him a fruit basket at the end. I'm <laughs> in class, he was very, um, he was very engaging. He always made sure that everybody had a good understanding of the topic before we moved on to something else. I have been extremely blessed to have such well-rounded, very experienced, hands-on experienced professors. Um, I think because of the quality of my professors, um, essentially what I learned in class is not just about the casebooks anymore. It's actually um, being able to um, connect the dots to what it's going to be like once I actually leave school and actually practice in itself. I had this fantastic professor last semester, uh, Professor Batlin, and she just had a real way of bringing the law to life. and getting some interesting classroom discussions going and um, yeah, getting us to make sort of legal arguments and really, you know, I just thought she did a really great job of teaching contracts. Once I actually heard about Chicago Kent, um, I actually asked around and the name, um, everyone's very familiar with Chicago Kent, especially their legal writing program, which of course, most schools offer legal writing, however, I don't think they offer it as extensively as our school does here. Um, and I, it's kind of like a no-brainer then, because the industry in itself and the profession requires you to have great analytical skills and be able to not, not only orally, but be able to communicate effectively, um, writing briefs, memos, etc., like that. So, um, Dean Krent, uh, I had emailed him a couple of times, and he seemed... Uh, to be very nice and he built a really good rapport with me right off the bat and I thought that was important to be able to approach you know the leaders of an institution on a very personal basis. One of the differences between sort of law school when you're doing kind of uh, post or doc doctorate research is in doctorate research you're really trying to make things black and white and here you're really trying to sort of seize upon the fact that things aren't black and white. I don't actually work right now I actually have three kids at home five four and two um, so that is my full-time gig at home. I don't get paid, which I should, uh, and I go to school at night. It's not as scary as everybody tells you it's going to be, um, at least not here. And um, I've had a really good time. I've been lucky enough to get on one of the trial teams here at Chicago Kent, and as a 1L, that's pretty much impossible. It's close by Union Station. I mean, uh, if you're a commuter, you can't go wrong with that because you only walk a block away. I'm really comfortable here. I've made uh, quite a few friends here. I, Chicago Kent is just a really great fit for me. Every class is wonderful. I thought I would hate torts, but what do you know? You know, it's very interesting.